everyone, and in today's video, we're starting a new series that's based on high school accounting. And in this video, we will be doing grade 9 basic accounting principles and a few questions and answers. Okay, as always, let's start with the definition. Basic accounting principles is the concept that accounting transactions should be recorded in the accounting periods when they actually occur rather than in the periods where there are cash flows associated with them. This is the foundation of the accrual basis of accounting. Let's begin with our examples. Question 1. The source document for the CRJ Cash Receipts Journal is a... So the first one is a receipt, which is also identified as a duplicate receipt. It is addressed to a specific person or business. A receipt is issued when the business receives money for capital from people that owe money. The second one is a CRR, which is a cash register roll. It is a slip that is given to you when you purchase at a till. It's basically a till slip. And the third one is the bank statement. A bank statement is issued by the bank to the holder of the account at the end of the month. It reflects all transactions that took place in that account within a specified time. The fourth one is a cash invoice. This is the same as the cash register roll, but it has more detail. It is issued when a business sells a few more items a day or provides a service for cash. And the fifth one is a bank deposit slip. A bank deposit slip is completed whenever money is deposited into the business's bank account. The bank keeps the original, the business keeps the duplicate as confirmed that the money was deposited. Question 2. Liabilities increase on the side of the general ledger. The answer is the liabilities increase on the credit side of the general ledger. This is because liabilities are going up, so you credit them. And assets would do the opposite, they would increase on the debit side, and so on and so forth. Question 3. The drawings accounts will always be on the side of the general ledger. The drawings accounts will always be on the debit side of the general ledger because the owners of the business are taking money out of the business, just as the capital account would always be on the credit side of the general ledger because the owners of the business are putting money into the business. Question 4. Check counterfoil is the source document for the... Check counterfoil is the source document for the CPJ, which is the Cash Payments Journal. And for those of you wondering, the check counterfoil is the proof of transaction kept by the business. Question 5. The current income account has a total. The current income account has a credit total. Now remember, your current income account will always have a credit total. Just like your current expenses account will always have a debit total. It's the debit versus the credit. Question 6. The balance sheet account section will always have an opening. The balance sheet account section will always have an opening balance. This is a very straightforward question. The balance sheet account section will always have an opening balance because even if it's of zero, it will always have an opening balance. All right, so that was part one. And stay tuned for part two. We will be continuing with more questions. And I hope you found this helpful. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video.